boxes with memories we can store more freely boxes with pictures of the way things used to be boxes with everything but what you can keep tiny boxes and i remember writing it in the in the basement of my apartment surrounded by a bunch of boxes that i'd moved from one house to another and we carry around these things and they're sort of like misplaced memories you know the places that we can't get back to but we have pictures of and for some reason we feel the need to always carry these with us you know this was my first album that i made for myself it was called theater of the absurd it, it had feedback it had backwards guitar it had this monkey that you used to squeeze and it would make this l really loud yelping noise i had that in reverse and forward as well and i used to bring this to to parties and uh with my friends and we would listen to it, but usually not till pretty late in the night. You do only need to sort of produce those two songs, but a lot of people are continually working on albums or, or whatever, and it, it becomes sort of a sneak peek at where they are or where they're headed. So, you know, they can kind of get into the headspace like, okay, I'm just gonna get these two done right now. At least in my case, that's where I'm at is, I'm gonna get these two done. And then it's sort of inspiring to continue and finish the full-length record, you know? All the bands that we loved at one point or another, they were out on vinyl, you know? And it was uh, something physical that you could hold. With digital stuff, it was like, well, I've got 4,000 songs now. And y you don't feel as invested in the artists themselves. It's not the way we remember music being, you know? And it's not the experience we remember having with it. Comes in waves when you're sleeping Pours like rain when you're away. All these memories you can't place on. From when you were young and on your way. Is it better to feel the unknown or to know and fear it anyway? It's been different every time, and I enjoy that. It's never the same experience. For the most part, my memories are all fond of just the artist because we've all had a common sort of goal. It's uh, let's get organically the best music we can together. And uh, Kingston Prison, it, you know, it, it falls in a similar vein in that um, it's sort of about, uh, I spent a lot of time as a, a kid growing up in Kingston. I had relatives there and there were certain things I remember sort of scaring me and one of them was the prisons. Kingston, which, you know, some of them look like castles and they were quite elaborate and I wondered what kind of stuff was going on in there. And that song sort of, you know, came together as me wondering, well, is it better to fear the unknown of what's going on there or to sort of get older and have some knowledge about these things and fear it anyways.